What is this? An Xbox game? Who I am? I am Oliver Gamer Tree. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Well, welcome. Well, you know, alone. So, uh, this time I'm alone. Uh, like I say, my name is Oliver Gamer Tree. I do LP, and this time it is going to be, uh, an not an FPS game. Uh, over the shoulder game perspective, you know. And it's called Metal Arms, which I find the game pretty sweet. So, um, I love, uh, I love those studio, by the way. I thought they're pretty funny, especially, uh, Swingy Hape Studios. So, um, yeah, meanwhile I'm doing my, uh, Metroid Prime playthrough, unless you're seeing this, like, two years later and you randomly, uh, see my Metal Arms playlist and, and you say, um, I'm going to watch this. Well, just forget about everything I just say and uh, yeah, enjoy this introduction uh, to the game itself. I don't think they contain explorers, so. And that was the introduction video of Metal Arms. Um, so yeah, uh, let's begin a new game and... What name should I give it? Uh, what name should I give it? Uh, let's, let's make this simple. Um, or let's say Oliver. You know, Oliver... So I still I still respect my own username, you know. And uh yeah. Um let's begin. Start adventure. Uh, wait wait a second. Before that always check your action, see if your brightness is cool. Um, you know. Sounds pretty good. Uh vibration looks silly. I'm good like this invert look. I want to say uh, I'll be I'll make it on just to just to frustrate Diablo yeah, 96, which which is not with me this time around. So yeah, I'm going to even screw up more words. <laughs> um, two way. No, I'm good. Okay. So uh, yeah, let's do this. Normal. Nuts! <laughs> I love this difficulty. Nuts to steal. Let's get him back to Droid Town. The Colonel will know what to do. Check out that strange market. Hey, Crunk! 
Were you able to repair our mystery bot? Of course I f***ing fixed him. It was a huge pain in the f***ing waistband, because he's some kind of custom jobby. But nothing I couldn't handle. Some of his memory chips were fried, so he'll need a new data upload. But after that, he should be as good as f***ing new. Huh. Does his ID chip still function? Yes, says his name is Glitch. All right. Glitch, welcome to the Droid Rebellion. Take our new fixer-upper to data upload and get him back online. Now, ladies! Yes, sir! Okay, just sit back and try to relax, Glitch. You might feel a little jolt, but that's just us restoring your standard droid data bank memory. Iron Star, a planet at the edge of the universe, thought to have been built from debris and spacecraft by a mysterious race called the Morbots. While they've never been seen, it is believed that the Morbots still inhabit great cities at the core of Iron Star, where they generate the massive amounts of power consumed by the planet's inhabitants. None dare enter the Morbots' lethal domain, and the mere mention of their name evokes fears of mutation, mutilation, or worse, deactivation. Over time, the surface of Iron Star saw the droid race grow and prosper by mining vast amounts of the planet's plentiful ore. The ore allowed the droids to establish an advanced industrial society which thrived for thousands of years until the droid's beloved Dr. Exavolt attempted to advance droid technology beyond its current limits, but his experiment went terribly wrong. An horrific explosion destroyed his lab and resulted in the creation of a powerful sadistic military bot known as General Corrosive. The remains of Dr. Exavolt were never found, but his memory lived on to inspire the next generation of droids. The evil General Corrosive rose to power and led his army of mill troops to attack the droids, sending their once peaceful nation into a tailspin of terror and destruction. The droids that remained were cast into slavery in the factories and mines of their mill overlords. Those who refused were immediately deactivated and recycled. As fate seemed to cast a shadow over the droid civilization, a ragtag band of bots led by the heroic Colonel Alloy were able to carve out one last vestige of hope, a single city known as Droid Town. It is here that the droids make their final stand, calling on all willing and able droids to rise up in rebellion before it's too late. I'm sure if I didn't talk too much, I mean, they are a cutscene, but, um, you know, that's pretty much it. I hope they, they was titled the cutscene. So basically, as you might guess, we're on a war. No. <laughs> People talk a lot here and there. Um, you know what? I don't like the inverted, so just, 
just for me to don't screw up a lot of thing and I'm going to play uh, non inverted you know and I'll explain this menu later on uh, because we're kind of limited at the beginning of the game you know uh, as you can see uh, if you didn't hear what uh, the introduction cutscene was uh, a destructive robot has been made by a doctor. I don't know why I'm seeing this anyway. I just I'll just do it if my audio isn't so so high for the game itself. And I'm sorry if I didn't talk too much at the beginning. It's because well, you know there was, there was cuts and all that stuff. So we're just going to move on and see what's up ahead. You know. I kind of like this game, as well as this humor. I, I find it pretty good. Not awesome, not the greatest thing ever, but st still good, you know. And here's where we learn to basic. You can double tap your A button to gain the extra height you need to get up to that door. They basically told you to double jump here and there. Pretty easy, you know. Tap the A button, tap the A button again. That's an Xbox controller, so if you don't have it. Xbox, I don't want you watching this unless it's for your entertainment of me following a lot of things. Because this game can be hard at a time. And I mean, really damn hard. Yeah. And if you want Target the enemy oh. with the reticule. When it turns red, use your right trigger to let them have it. Now take cover. Yeah, you use your right trigger to fire. These mines are under mill control now. Destroy all droids. Uh as you can see um on on the right uh you know uh, at the bottom right screen there's a little meter that regenerates now and that's basically my energy that I have for um, my laser. Laser is, as you might guess, the, the not very good weapon of the beginning, you know? And I also have ally for this section of the game, so that's pretty easy. And I like this. Look at this. The leg is still, still there. It can still move. I find this pretty good. It basically tells us to use a chip and when you... Uh, right before switch you can just use the switch and get a move on you know basic in basic action command you press the Y button it's, pre it's pretty it's pretty basic stuff at the exception of the reload system which I'll which I'll explain well again I get more weapon because I, we are so limited at the beginning of the game You just need to blast the bridge, right, hit the bridge out there. That deal, deal. And sometimes it, it glitch and there's some, and there's some mill that, that's still, uh, there's still some mill left down there. So it's pretty cool. I love this game humor. So you just use the ultra gear to throw a charge and boom. And watch out, it deal damage. As you can see, I'm the top uh, left meter. It's my energy, and you can collect energy like those to well, refill your your health. So that's pretty basic stuff. Um, unfortunately for me, since I'm still limited at 15 minutes, and I truly want to uh, make my limit bigger, you know, uh, I I'm going to cut this here because well like I said I am still at 15 minutes limit you know so I'll finish the hero training mission uh, next episode so I my name is Oliver Gamer Tree and I'll see you guys next time for more hero training okay see you guys next time